We have to never forget that knowledge travels faster than the speed of self-righteousness. <laughs> like, your opinions are kind of worthless if they're unbendable over time, you know? You've got to be willing to change your opinions, learn new information, adapt, fucking keep step with the knowledge. <laughs> and if you're unhappy, you know, just fucking change. <laughs> If you have the means to change. If you don't have the means to change, that's a terrible situation. I feel awful for you, but you probably do. <laughs> I mean, if you're here, you know, can afford to come and see this shit, <laughs> you could probably change. Might be the hardest thing you've ever done. Might take ages. But please, for the love of God, if you're unhappy, fucking change because quite frankly you being miserable is ruining it for the rest of us hey hi how you doing this is ryan and welcome back to the gamertron show and also welcome back to episode 6969 of ryan complains about gamers spewing lies on the internet yes Indeed, I am a broken record when it comes to this topic. I understand if you want to click off the video. But hey, you know what? If gamers online are just going to repeat and regurgitate the same old rhetoric over and over again, why can't I do the same? So, here we go. It boggles my mind how there are still not just hundreds, but thousands of people on the internet who honestly believe that video games are dying, boring, no longer fun, the industry is worse than it's ever been, there are no new good games that release nowadays. All of this and so much more, and why is that? What do gamers have as their evidence? What's their smoking gun? Oh, the new Saints Row game is bad. Oh, okay. Is that it? Oh, Call of Duty Vanguard is bad. You mean that game that came out almost a year ago? Oh, well, Battlefield 2042 is bad. Again, that game came out almost a year ago. Oh, well, Halo Infinite hasn't gotten any new content or fixes or isn't as good as the old Halo games. Again, came out a year ago. If you're not happy with any of those games, why are you still playing them? Have you not played anything else in the almost a year since those games came out? A reminder, everyone, that so far in the year 2022, we have received such video games as Elden Ring, Horizon Forbidden West, Stray, Dying Light 2, Tunic, Xenoblade Chronicles Free, Ollie Ollie World, Total War Warhammer Free, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Nobody Saves the World, Neon White, Multiverses, Sifu, Gran Turismo 7, The Quarry, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge, Triangle Strategy, Two Point Campus, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin, and the recently released Cult of the Lamb. But, but damn, damn go, go off, sis. sis. Tell me more about how modern gaming sucks, how all new video games are boring and not fun, how there's no passion put into them, how they all suck, how there's no new good games releasing nowadays, and the only good games were back in the 90s and the 2000s. You can name for me what, like five or ten bad video games that have released over the past decade? I can name you hundreds of great, fantastic, quality products and works of art that have released this past decade. Hell, I can name you hundreds just from the past five years. The insidious lie that modern gaming sucks, there's nothing good about modern gaming, is so moronic because literally all I have to do is pull up Google. All I have to do is Google video games type in the year, and I will find a plethora of fantastic games to pick from, which conveniently you guys haven't played. It's almost like you're all just parroting one another instead of doing any actual research. Oh no wait, that's exactly what you're doing. It's infuriating, it's disappointing, it's sad, it's, dare I say, I know it's harsh, pathetic. When I can dismantle all of your claims and arguments, 
by just typing shit into Google, there may be, just maybe, some gaping holes in the narrative you're trying to build. Some examples. Hey Google, how many people around the world are playing video games as of today? Three billion. That's strange. If video games suck nowadays, if they're all boring and not fun, why would there be three billion people around the world playing video games? It, it just doesn't add up. Well, what about money? How much money is the video game industry making nowadays? Oh. Oh my. Hmm. That's strange. If video games sucked and are all boring and not fun anymore, why are they making that much money again? It's almost like gamers are full of shit. Oh, because they are. Again, I don't get it. Why do so many people, so many gamers, actively choose to live in this delusional, depressing fantasy? Instead of bitching and moaning and coping and seething about modern gaming, how about you actually play the actual video games that have spawned from modern gaming? Uh, uh, but Call of Duty, uh, but Battlefield, uh, but microtransactions and Battle Royale and Ubisoft games. Oh my god, the Ubisoft games. No one is forcing you to play those particular games or engage in those business practices or business models. I never said modern gaming was perfect. But it's not this unrealistic hellscape you paint it as. If you only play AAA PvP multiplayer shooters and every single open world Ubisoft game, that's on you. That's your fault. It's not modern gaming's fault. You're a dumbass. You keep buying and playing the same shit and falling for the same scams over and over again, then proceed to blame everyone and everything else but yourself. Keep in mind, this rhetoric, this bullshit is set on repeat every single fucking year. I've been doing YouTube and paying attention to the online gaming community for years, and it's the same shit over and over again. Insert Far Cry Free Voss meme, did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? So let's go through the list of recently released modern video games that have come out the past few years. And keep in mind, these gamers all say that all these games suck, they're all boring, they're no fun, gaming is dying and failing, etc, etc. Let's begin looking back at 2021. We've got Resident Evil Village, we'll skip over Halo Infinite since I know the internet is super salty about that game. We've got Deathloop, It Takes Two, Forza Horizon 5, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts 2, Returnal, Ratchet and Clank, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Hitman Free, Super Mario 3D World, Monster Hunter Rise, Loop Hero, Death's Door, Inscription, Kana, Bridge of Spirits, Valheim, The Forgotten City, The Artful Escape, Life is Strange, True Colors, Lost Judgment, Solar Ash, Scarlet Nexus, Age of Empires, Tales of Arise, Sable, Bravely Default 2, Guilty Gear Strive, and many, many more games that released in 2021. According to gamers, those all suck. None of them are fun. They're all boring. There were no good games that released in 2021. The only games that mattered were Call of Duty Vanguard, Battlefield 2042, and Halo Infinite. Those are the only video games that released in 2021, and they all suck. They make up the entire year of gaming. There was nothing else. Ah, <sighs> enough with the sarcasm. You're a fool. You're an idiot. You're a moron if you honestly believe those things. A few bad and mediocre games come out in 2021. Meanwhile, they're surrounded by these phenomenal products and works of art, and you're just going to blatantly ignore them and dismiss them because they completely dismantle your narrative of modern gaming sucks, right? Eh? <sighs> Up next, 2020. Another year that apparently sucked was boring, was no fun, had no good games whatsoever. So, we have Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Doom Eternal, Ghost of Tsushima, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Fall Guys, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Star Wars Squadrons, The Demon Souls Remake, Dreams, Half-Life Alex, Crusader Kings Free, Spelunky 2, Streets of Rage 4, Neo 2, Crash Bandicoot 4, the new Dragon Ball Z game, Paradise Killer, Spiritfarer, 
Persona 5 Strikers, Bug Snacks, and many, many more games that came out in 2020. But those all apparently suck, are boring, no fun. Like, come on! Come on, it's pitiful! It's fucking pitiful! How can you hold the stance that modern gaming sucks, there are no new fun games, all new games are boring, they're all bad and of poor quality, like, how can you take yourself seriously? You're a clown! When presented with all of these lists of games that came out these past few years, what the fuck's your excuse? Oh, uh, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk was bad, it was a disaster. Yeah, okay, that's one game out of dozens and dozens, actually no, hundreds, because hundreds of video games release every fucking year. So you've got nothing. You've got one buggy AAA disaster, and that's your excuse for saying all modern gaming sucks in 2020. So Ori and the Will of the Wisps doesn't matter. Doom Eternal doesn't matter. Ghost of Tsushima doesn't matter. Half-Life Alex doesn't matter. Spirit Fairer doesn't matter. Oh no, Cyberpunk was bad, therefore everything else must suck. You're acting like a petulant child. Grow the fuck up. One more, everybody. One more year in modern gaming for the road. This one, a particular favorite of mine, 2019. Again, yet another year where gaming was dying. It sucked. It was boring and had no fun games that released. Let's take a look. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Fire Emblem, Free Houses. Control. The Outer Worlds, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Luigi's Mansion Free, Apex Legends, Death Stranding, Untitled Goose Game, Sayonara Wild Hearts, Outer Wilds, Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, Devil May Cry 5, Baba Is You, Gears 5, Mortal Kombat 11, Disco Elysium, The Division 2, Borderlands Free, Monster Hunter World Iceborne, A Plague Tale Innocence, Metro Exodus, Astral Chain, Katana Zero, Remnant from the Ashes, one of my favorite games of all time, my game of the year 2019. Oh, and I almost forgot Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And yeah, that should do it. So please, tell me, how did 2019 suck in modern gaming? Oh, that's right, you can't. Not without lying, at least, because it didn't suck. What, because yet another FIFA released and Contra Rogue Corpse came out from Konami? The entire year was a shambles? Give me a break. I've got facts and evidence on my side, and you have delusions. The last few years of gaming have been fucking fantastic, stupendous, tremendous, endless options of quality games to pick and play from. You want to know why I'm so positive and optimistic about modern gaming? Because I actually play and seek out the good video games that have been releasing over the past several years. If all you're playing is every single new EA sports game, every single new Call of Duty, every single new AAA multiplayer PvP shooter, every single new popular Battle Royale game, every single new open world Ubisoft game, then yeah, no duh, you're not gonna have a good time playing video games. Oh, you're bored? You're not having fun? I wonder whose fault that is. You're actively choosing to not play great games like Elden Ring, or It Takes Two, or Psychonauts 2, or Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, or the new Monster Hunter games like Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter Rise, or Doom Eternal, or Ori, or Ghosts of Tsushima, or Sekiro, or Fire Emblem, or Control, or Outer Wilds, or Jedi Fallen Order, or Devil May Cry 5. It's your fault. It's your fucking fault. You are in no position to make the claim that modern gaming sucks, it's all boring, none of it's fun, etc, etc, if you're actively not playing any of the modern games releasing. Modern gaming is fucking awesome. I'm having a great time. I'm having so much bloody fun. And guess what? So is the rest of the world, as the numbers clearly show. So for every year after year this rhetoric is repeated, I shall repeat in kind, please stop lying to me and stop lying to yourself. Modern gaming is good. Modern gaming is great even. It's by no means perfect. It's certainly got problems, but the positives far, 
far outweigh the negatives. Anyways, that's been a video. I've said my piece. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want to help out and support the video, and please share it on social media, Twitter, Reddit, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, please consider making a YouTube Super Thanks donation or donating via my Buy Me A Coffee page in the description down below. Anyways, once again, that's been a video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Might be the hardest thing you've ever done. Might take ages. But please, for the love of God, if you're unhappy, fucking change. Because quite frankly, you being miserable is ruining it for the rest of us.